we've decided to stay on for another session here. I've uh, got my guest angler, Anthony, with me and Dalen. Uh, we're going to be fishing here at Simonstown. We're going to be fishing into the night a bit um, to try for a bronzy or um, a paley, a black skate. Uh, it looks good. Um, I think we're definitely going to get a pull. Uh, earlier on, uh, Tariq got a nice uh, bronzy. And uh, yeah, they're going to turn on. Everything looks 100%. I think we're going to definitely, we're definitely going to get a pull here. The tide just starting to turn, push now, properly. Dalen's on now, and the other guest angler, Anthony Little, he's also on on the other side. So yeah, looks like we're in for a long night. Come on. Long chair, guys. You must play guitar. It's, well, people say that it annoys the fish and lifts it, so. I think I'd prefer bronzy now, <laughs> but a fish is a fish. Lock drag on this saltiga. This fish feels decent. Point 0.58 Kingfisher Giant abrasion. Can't go wrong. Daiwa magic, that's all I can say. Daiwa magic. Slow and steady always wins the race. Do I pause look? Seems to come, seems to be coming left again, which is a good thing. Dalen's other rod, he threw a bait earlier on and the other rod's also on so Anthony, the other mate of mine, he's busy fighting that piece for Dalen so while Dalen turns on here yeah, it's, the fish are coming in the bite now it's getting exciting Tuna circle got it proper. My Paley turned into a bronze, eh? Got it. Tuna circle.
Something is happening here on my rod. Finally, I get a chance. I've been handing my rod to other people. But I'm getting a bite here. Seems to be very sluggish. Could be a black paley. But uh, he's just sitting on the bait. He's just, I can feel him feeding. I can feel him. He's there. He's feeding. But uh, he's just not going down. Anthony's on, on the other side with Dalen's rod. So I don't know if it's... Could be him. Here we go. Huh? Something's on. I'm in a dangerous place here. That reef is right in front of me. Hopefully just cleared it. We had a small problem, we were all tangled up there. I managed to throw that out. You've got to give me one of these, dude. <laughs> Seriously, give me one it. of these. I'll ask Dalen nicely, maybe. Seriously, I've got to give me one of these. Ugh. It's an awesome setup, that's it's awesome. Set up. Proper, proper, proper. Fish there and we've only about three, four hundred meters. But then you just winch in touch the drag and boom, buddy, boom. This is Dylan's rod and reel. Uh, salt is medium heavy, 15 foot. And uh, salt is 8,000 with 40 pound J-Bray and a tuna circle. And uh, I ain't giving this setup back, that's for sure. Um, this fish is giving me a bit of punishment, but it, the setup handled very, very nicely. Smooth drag, 40 pound J-Bray has held up excessively. He's run through a bit of a reef and a bit of a kelp bed. But the pulling power on this rod and reel is unbelievable. Dylan, you ain't getting your setup back, my friend. It's all mine. I land this double up myself for a nun to go down together. Let's make it an epic evening and the evening off for the bank. Right here, I think I got a diamond skate on. It's a decent diamond. Very really rare to catch a diamond here. Yeah? I have caught one here before. They use these decent sizes. Only my second diamond that I've got in this in this area, and now yeah, got excited. I want to catch a bronzy. <laughs> anyway, it took off like a like a steam train right in the beginning. Just carried on going. Um, what probably three three hundred and fifty meters, and then um, sort of slowing down. A few small runs in between. But it feels very heavy. I don't know if what it is. So. Uh, Love to see what it is. Hopefully it's a, a nice size fish of some sort. At first felt like it took off like a bronzy, a fight like a bronzy, but um, ever since the last couple of minutes it just feels a bit heavy. So let's hope it's a nice size bronzy and uh,
Anthony! Hold this thing down this way. Hold on. Hold on. Guys, what an epic, epic session. From about 11 o'clock, the light switch was just turned on. We all got fish. Um, I managed to get a diamond, very rare for this, uh, in this area. Dalen got a lovely um, uh, bronzy. And Anthony went on with the fish, he lost it. And then Dalen's rod, his throw rod, throw bait rod, went on and Anthony took it. And yeah, he had the pleasure of using some Dawa tackle. He used Dalen's um, Saltist uh, 8000 with 40 pound J braid and Dalen's medium heavy uh, grinder elite 15 foot. And yeah, he had a blast. Really guys, it turned out to be an awesome evening. Uh, the fish were here and I think if we wanted to persist, we would have caught more, but I think we've We've had a full day, we've almost had 24 hours of fishing. Uh, we need to have a rest and get ready for the next session tomorrow. No, I had a ball, I had an epic ball. It was, uh, was um, very surprising. I mean, the rod was pulled literally horizontal. Um, the tackle, obviously, Dale and Skip, thanks very much for letting me yeah, use it, no was, was, was awesome. I mean, uh, yeah, it, 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 it worked like a dream. I mean, the reel is super smooth, the, the, the 40 pound braid, J braid handled in a bit of reef that the fish went through. And the rod, I mean, we pulled that fish, I mean, we pulled it hard and we got it at the end and we finally landed. It was a great, great setup to use and I mean, I'm definitely going to have to switch over. Well, the daily sleeping tonight, take the kid away from it. Make a plan. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it, uh, the opportunity and yeah, I had a really great time. Our rod just went, it was absolutely amazing. And obviously the good company makes it even better.